Hey guys, this is Nerf Boy Productions here, and today I am very excited because I just picked up from Toys R Us the brand new Nerf uh, Mega Centurion. So yeah, um, really awesome blaster we have here. Uh, yeah, so uh, let's take a look at the box first. Um, of course, this is an unboxing and review. So let's take a look at the box first. Uh, as you can see, it says Nerf in the corner. Has a picture of the guy shooting it, of course. Uh, here it says shoots 30 meters or 100 feet. That's the Canadian uh, version of the box. Uh, mega. Uh, yeah, just some little things. Uh, if we take a look at the back, your standard stuff. Oh, tactical rail, priming bar, tells you what you get. But uh, the only thing that really interests me on the box is um, <clears throat> over here it talks about downloading the Nerf Mission app. And of course, you can buy that mission kit that basically just straps to a tactical rail. You put in your uh, eye device, and uh, you can record or do whatever you want uh, with Nerf Force. So that's all very cool. But of course, what we want to see is the gun. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Now, uh, this thing should just slide open. All right. So the first thing that comes out is a cardboard insert. Uh, let's cut that, and then if we unfold it, inside is the bipod, which we can just take out, and uh, there it is. It's a pretty big bipod. Here's my hand. So yeah, uh, if we keep pulling here. We get the front barrel of the Centurion, and if we continue pulling, we get the Centurion, the main part of the Centurion, wrapped in the plastic on the back with this cardboard piece holding in the handle. Inside this cardboard piece that's holding in the handle are a couple of things. The six Mega Darts. Uh, the instruction booklet, and also the priming bar. Um, all right, now, of course, everybody talks about uh, the mega darts and stuff, uh, and I don't have a dart right now. I'll get one later in the video, but uh, they're pretty big. Um, what a lot of people don't know about, which actually saddens me, is uh, mega darts are old. They used to sell mega darts, and... Uh, some, a lot of the old stuff had mega darts and used mega darts. Uh, if any of you guys remember the Transformers um, Nerf guns, they had the, of course, the uh, Megatron version, or I think it was Starscream and Optimus Prime, and I have the Optimus Prime truck, where it's a truck, you pull back the handle, turns into a gun, that takes mega darts. They've used mega darts before, so, and I own some, so this doesn't really surprise me, but I do want to show you that you can fit a whole uh, normal dart inside the mega dart hole. So uh, anyway, that's the Mega Darts. And then if we continue pulling, we get the magazine, which we've never seen before, and it's the size of my hand. Wow. If you turn it sideways, it's basically like two six-star clips. If you see there's this line down the middle, uh, that's like one six-star clip, and that's another six-star clip. So it's like taking two six-star clips horizontally and stacking them on top of each other. That's about the size of this. This is even a little bigger though. And then uh, if we continue pulling, just an empty cardboard insert, and now the box is empty. Okay, now the box, uh, now that it's empty, we can go ahead and take a look at everything we have uh, together. First, let's start with the Centurion and take off this plastic wrap, which you can just peel off. Okay, I don't know what uh, Nerf has done lately, but um, I'm not going to say it's as amazing as the Rapid Strike, which I talked about in my other video, um, but this is an amazing uh, feel, um, because it's got the same stock style as the Rapid Strike, and whatever they did to this gun, all I have a feeling that all the new Nerf guns are going to be very, very nice to handle, because this is probably the second best gun ever to handle. Um, of course, the first is the Rapid Strike, and then this, because this is very, very comfortable. Um, so yeah. 
Now, um, so of course we have the, the gun here and uh, the barrel. Now, I want you to get a good look at the gun without the barrel. Because once you put the barrel on, you can't take it off. Okay, basically the only difference is the front of the gun without the barrel. Looks kind of funny. Uh, actually, it looks normal. The front looks fine. But uh, if you guys remember the long strike stock, uh, in the box it's not on. And once you clip it on, you can't take it off. A lot of people just assemble it and say, where's the release button? Well, I can't take the stock off. Same deal with this barrel. Once you put it on, you can't take it off. Now, uh, the gun, I've looked at other videos and the gun's pretty um, stupid without the thing. Like for shooting, uh, it's very inaccurate and uh, the ranges don't change at all once you put the barrel on, so uh, it's best to just put the barrel on, plus it looks cooler with the barrel. So let's go ahead and clip it on. Um, the barrel has a longer piece on the bottom and a shorter piece on top. Uh, bottom, The longer piece goes on the bottom and it just clips in. Okay, I think you, have to, you might have to slam it in. There you go. And now we have the fully complete Mega Centurion, and it's awesome. If we take my arm length, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but, uh, okay. It's the same length as from my fingertips to here, so, very long. Um, so yeah, now we'll t take out the priming bar, and I want to show you that the priming bar is a different design than the older primer uh, bars, priming bars. If you remember the older ones, uh, it came with the two pegs that are the same, but uh, one of the pegs had a long rod and the other one was hollow with a hole. This is a short rod and a short rod that clip together in the gun, but these bars are exactly identical. Doesn't matter which way you put them in, but there's a hole right here behind the mega part, and you'll see where it clips in and you just push or kind of bang it in. I don't want to break it though. And we put the other one in. Okay, uh, yeah, you have to bang it. There. Now, uh, I know, of course, on the box, in the instructions, it says, uh, if you need help installing that with your, uh, uh, if you need help installing that, get parents' permission. Of course, if you're younger, uh, any of my younger viewers, you should probably get parents' permission. Now, uh, check this out. The drawback on this is from here to there. So, uh, I'll just demonstrate that. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, and then here's the bipod. Uh, the bipod slides on like, actually, I'll just show you the bipod. It slides on like any normal bipod would. It's got the two clips. It says, uh, and strike Elite on the front because this is part of the Elite series, it's just the Elite Mega series. And I want to show you what's cool about this. Of course, you have to line up the pegs and all that. And uh, this is how it should be uh, with the with the basically the way you put it on is uh, in case you don't know, the me the uh, whole and strike Elite part should be in the front, uh, like facing the front. So I'll show you once I have it on what I mean. Um, Okay, so, there, put it on like that. Now, uh, if we fold these, I want to show you that, of course, when you get it, it's like this, right? And you can keep it on the gun like that and just run around like this. And then when you want to go into sniper mode, put them down and they click nicely. And uh, then you can do that. And then you can also fold them, fold them forwards if you want to fold them forwards, which provides a better grip back here, if that's what you like. But uh, that's what i do. I would fold them forwards uh, it may not look as nice as folding them back like that that looks nicer when you fold them back but uh, if you fold them forwards it uh, definitely provides a better grip uh, of the guns when you're shooting like that because you can hold right in front of where the clip goes and uh, yeah um, all right let's open up this pack of mega darts here it's held in by two pieces of clear tape and uh, as you can tell, I'm doing the video outside of my cottage. Bugs are killing me right now. Um, so 
That's why I'm itching in this video. Okay. There, it comes with six of the Mega Darts. Actually, I think these Mega Darts, they're the same size, but the holes are a little different than the old Mega Darts. I think they're a slight tad bit bigger. Alright, so, uh, of course, you load them into the Mega Mag, um, like normal. So, that's what I'm going to call it now, Mega Mag. Uh, so, of course, you slide it in, push down, slide it in, push down. Yep, it's the same. This magazine is giant. It's awesome. And uh, I hope they come out with, uh, of course, they have, like, all the mission kits and all that, where you can just buy a, a little set, and it comes with a spare mag and a bunch of darts. I hope they come out with that for the Centurion, or just the Mega Series, so we can put the Mega Darts in here. Now, I'm wondering what they're going to do ne next with the Mega Series, because it makes sense to have these Mega Darts in a sniper, because they're more accurate and stuff, but I don't know why they'd have any other Mega Guns. Uh, obviously, they will have other Mega Guns, I hope, but uh, I don't know what they'll come out with. Anyway, okay, so as, it's, uh, as you can see, it's kind of different than the normal guns. You, uh, of course, we know, uh, unless you take out the lock, with the old guns, what you have to do is prime it back, and then you can put in the mag. But, the mag won't actually go in if it's primed back. It'll stick. But when it's forwards, I'm just going to shoot that first one. it's forwards, it'll uh, go in. Like that. Alright, so, uh, yeah, you need to make sure the gun's primed forwards when you put it in. So basically what happens is you put it in, and then you load it, and... It's a long draw. Alright, so that's the gun there, and uh, yeah, so that's basically it for the unboxing, and uh, now let's get into the review. Alright, so, now that I've had some chance to uh, toy around with the Mega Centurion, let's go over everything. I already showed you what it comes with. Let's talk about tactical rails. When you have the barrel on and the bipod off, it has two tactical rails. One main one on the top, which is great for scopes and optics, obviously, and one on the bottom, which most of the time should be taken up with your bipod, but if you want to put something else, like a stampede one, if you prefer that better or something, you can go ahead and do that, which is nice. Uh, I like how that bipod's not actually fixed to the, uh, to the gun. So that's that. Um, it's got built-in iron sights, one in the front of the barrel, and then on the front of the gun where, out, where the barrel clips on is the back of it. So, uh, yeah. The sock, of course, is at the back. It's got that weird hole where the handle is, um, but it's nice. It's it's very snug. The uh, the as you can see, the um, stock is very nice. Um, so yeah, the draw very long, and uh, I mean I'm I'm obviously a kid. Uh, I'm a bigger kid, not you know just because I'm going to high school and stuff. I'm bigger than your average Nerf player, but. I find that's fine. Wow, it just kind of stuck on me. You have to put some force into that uh, draw, which I like. I mean, you know what? It's not hard to pull back, but I mean, uh, you actually need to be kind of nice with your motion. If you understand what I mean. It's so awesome. Uh, so now let's talk about... The design, of course, the paint's the same on both sides, which is nice. Nerf Mega on one side, Nerf Mega on the other side. Mega Clip's really cool. Um, yeah, the front of the barrel has that cool little grill thing, which is nice. And, uh, yeah. So, the basically all you have to do is to fire, pull back the, uh, pull back and forwards, and then you can fire. So, like, I already talked about this a bit, but I'll talk about it again. Uh, if you draw back this to uh, the prime and then go to eject the mag, uh, you won't be able to, I don't think. Nope. Uh, but if it's primed forwards, you can. Maybe. Yes. So, uh, actually, uh, you need to take it out and in, 
you need to make sure the gun's primed forwards and not primed. So, like, it, when you pull the trigger, you have to make sure nothing happens. And then you put it in. And then... Yeah, so, um, that's kind of annoying, but, um, another thing that's annoying, it's hard to take out with one hand. I can do it, but, uh, it's kind of hard. Um, and here's the reason why, of course, you have basically on the same spot where the strife and the rapid strike is, all the mag releases on the new guns are right there behind the mag, and I guess you're supposed to hit it with your thumb, and my hands are, uh, big, and it's hard to do that. So uh, you kind of need to, and it kind of gets stuck, so you need to uh, kind of use both hands. But of course this is meant to be used as a sniper. I guess technically what you can do is just push the button and it falls out <coughs> when you want to reload, which is awesome. And uh, the gun only comes with one mag, so until they release uh, something else, you're good for now. Uh, the access door for jamming is on the top. Uh, if it's primed forwards, it opens. And if it's primed back, it doesn't open. So basically, and when it's also pr just primed with air, it won't open as well. So uh, basically, think about your standard Nerf gun and flip that. Everything works when it's primed forwards. Um, so yeah, the access door is nice and big so you can access those jams with the Mega Darts. But I, what I've heard from, this gun shouldn't jam too much. Um, because how big the internals are and all that. Uh, it says Centurion just on the right side. Um, but yeah, nothing else too much. Now I will uh, do some shooting. Um, so yeah, not a range test because there's already one done by Random Shadow 9 and I th personally think I can't do better. So uh, go ahead and uh, look at his video. Um, but yeah, so uh, I will do a shooting test though. Uh, not a range test, just a shooting test. And I'll uh, go ahead and show you that now. Alright, so I ha I've actually only like shot the gun with the darts uh, that one time that you saw on camera. Other than that, the darts haven't been shot, so, uh, they're pretty close to mint condition. Only been fired once, so, you know, just about as mint as you can get. Whatever. Um, so this should be good. Mosquitoes are killing me, though. Alright. It's hard to see. Well, that didn't go very far. This, uh, this bipod's hard to, uh, stable, be stable on this tiny little armchair. I'm just gonna not use the bipod. Oh, man. Alright, so I, why I said, oh, man, was because one of the darts went on top of that cliff. Um... So basically, it gets the 100 foot ranges, but when you're, when you're aiming straight, um, if you've seen Random Shadow 09's video, it gets like 90 feet, which is awesome. But when you angle it, of course, you'll get that 100 foot mark. Uh, just there where I was shooting, they were landing about 20 feet away. Um, they were all landing 20 feet, but I was, I was just a aiming for that spot. I was kind of aiming down and stuff. Uh, but yeah. If you want to see a real range test of the stock Mega Centurion, check out Random Shadow 09. He does all the cool Mega, or uh, all the cool uh, Nerf range tests. And uh, yeah, so, hope you guys enjoyed the Mega Centurion. They're available in Toys R Us it's everywhere right now. So go ahead and pick yourself one up. And uh, as always, this is Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.